Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do a reading for the full moon. So this is for the Taurus full moon on the 31st. Yeah, right around the 31st. You know, the timing is fluid. We are just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for the Taurus full moon? For the Taurus full moon. Six of Wands, victory, progress, success. This is a win. It's a win win situation by the looks of things. That's winning. Uh, crossing the finish line. Uh, you win. You win. I mean, that's what it is. This is a congratulations. You made it. Public recognition. You know, somebody is going to be getting some public recognition for their for their hard work, okay, for succeeding. You see, finish, finish, finish. This is the big. This is a big finish. All right. So that's really good. Cross the finish line. You did it. That kind of thing. Let's get one of these. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. So somebody is going in another direction. Okay, they're going in another direction. Uh, they're leaving a lot of stuff behind. This is kind of like the fool card. Okay, this is about leaving it behind, uh, going, going, starting fresh, starting from scratch, uh, going on a new journey, uh, taking a risk, perhaps. This is a new phase, a new beginning. So this is great. This is a new beginning. This is a fresh start. Determined. We got somebody here that is determined to go by the looks of things. I'm not taking any of that with me. So this is a brand new beginning. They've, they, somebody is done. They've, they've uh, accomplished something. You know, they, they've, they, there's nothing, there's no reason. It's over. Okay, this is the end. Okay, you've reached the finish line. It's time to go down the new path. This is a big accomplishment. Congratulations. And now I'm now I'm leaving. So that kind of thing. Going someplace else. I'm gonna go go uh, start my next lesson. My next you know, do the next thing on my bucket list, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to my next uh, goal, you know. We have somebody here that is, is feeling very accomplished, and they, they should be. They should be. Justice. So this is, this is karma. This is the end. It, this is final. Okay, it's a final decision. It's finally over. This is finality. Okay, this is definitely final. This is about balance, about restoring balance, about acting with integrity. It's about making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. Doing what's right. Going by the book, too. This is like, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta do the right thing. So somebody is that's a, is making a final decision. Mm. King of Pentacles reversed. Judgment. Well, we have some really good karma here. This is the end of a karmic cycle, right? This is karma. So this is the King of Pentacles reverse is an individual that is uh, greedy. This person is greedy. This person is selfish, very focused on uh, things, very materialistic. Maybe a this could be like a workaholic that, you know, uh, is very shallow, very superficial. Um, looks like this person is losing ground, though. They are ungrounded. They may be losing losing their stability, losing their security, losing a job, losing money, losing business. Um, 
Uh, the King of Pentacles in reversed is somebody that uh, is corrupt, perhaps, does things that are against the law. This could also be somebody that is very lazy, uh, very spendy, spendy, that makes uh, poor financial decisions. Okay, the King of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody that is very superficial, very materialistic, is very worried about what the outside world sees them as. You know, this person wants people to see them as abundant when in reality they're not abundant, but the exterior looks like it's abundant. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is, uh, does things against the law. You know, and there is law here. So there's law. There's law involved, okay? There's there's a court system. There's a justice system. There is a judgment day. This is about the law. And we have somebody here that has done something against the law for their own benefit, for their own financial benefit, for their own financial gain, okay? So whoever this person is, is going to... Uh, there's going to be some sort of... Because these are both cards of consequences, so there's consequences here. So whoever this person is that is so superficial and shallow and egotistical and money hungry and greedy and selfish is going to be getting some sort of, well, this is consequences, judgment. Okay, this is judgment. It is. Double karma, double judgment. Um, now this is truth being revealed being held accountable, responsibility being assigned, okay? Whoever this person is, is about to get a wake-up call, okay? That may cost them, may cost them some money. They may, may cost them their job. Somebody could be getting sued, okay? Could cost them their whole business, their, you know, whatever it is. So, because this is legal. There could be some legal consequences for poor decisions, put it that way. Um... Now, this is a need for forgiveness, life-changing decision of some sort. This is the end. It is. This is an absolution. It is the end of um, a contract. Okay? This is the end of a contract, a karmic contract. So we have the end of a karmic contract with an individual that is very uh, superficial, Okay, this person is very, very, very superficial, very egotistical. Um, Money is more important than anything. Just flipped. So this is the end. Okay, this is this, this is the. It doesn't mean that this person is gonna die. I mean, not, it could, but I don't think that's the case. I feel like this is the end. It's the end of. Uh, the relationship with this person. This is, uh, it's over. It's over. This is, death is, it's over. Okay. Um, profound change. We definitely have pro profound change here. Okay. Um, now this is the laws of karma, which it is, sees right through a situation. We have a very, um, Wow, that King of Pentacles in reverse. And it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be anybody. This person is very uh, materialistic. Very, very materialistic. Money, money hungry. This, very, this money hungry person is about to experience a major ending in their life because of karma. Okay, this is karma. Because of justice. Because it's what they earned it. Right? There could be some upcoming legalities. Whoever this person is may be facing some upcoming legalities. We definitely have an ending. Freedom. Breaking free. Lies being exposed. An obstacle being removed. This obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been hiding something. Now that is mental turmoil. Coming out of mental turmoil, coming out. Lies are about to be revealed. Somebody's been lying, and their lies are about to be revealed. And it's going, it's going to be. There's going, to, there's going to be public recognition. It's going to be recognized. Whatever somebody has been, this this person right here, that is very um, 
corrupt is going there whatever they've been lying about is going to be revealed there's definitely the truth is here comes some freaking truth and it is big truth okay this is truth truth is about to be revealed about this individual that has been uh, able to almost pretend they've been able to pretend that they were abundant or they've been able to pretend that this and that and whatnot they can't pretend it anymore something is going to happen I don't know what's this death card is um, I don't know it's a separation and a loss that leads to a new beginning of some sort so this is the end it's the end of this this prison it is because this is prison it's the end of this mental turmoil it is the end so that's good um, hmm. letting go letting go of emptiness letting go of pain letting go of fear it's the end of holding on okay it's the end of holding on ah somebody is overwhelmed they're being weighed down they're, they are, they're taking on too much they're trying to do too much they could collapse okay somebody could collapse um, an empire could collapse. Um, Ten of Wands, definitely trying to do too much. Somebody's trying to do too much. They may be overextending themselves. I'm just saying we could have somebody here that is trying to do too much because they, you know they gotta they gotta live up to some sort of you know social pressure. They're overdoing it. It feels like we do have somebody here that is overdoing it. Um, a lot of responsibilities has taken on though we have somebody here that has taken on a lot of responsibilities but with the death card and the ten of wands those are endings okay it's over you can't do this anymore you can't it's too much they've been trying to do too much and they can't do it anymore they can't they've been lying about their health they're lying about their business lying about who they are and now they've overextended themselves Hmm. poverty begging victim mentality we have somebody here that is really struggling they, they they on the outside it appears that they have all kinds of money but in reality they are struggling we have somebody here that is really really struggling and they're begging they're made they're they they're like it's like they're they're struggling they got experiencing some sort of financial burden um Knight of Cups coming back thinking about coming back for a reconciliation somebody may be thinking about coming back for a reconciliation okay this is a coming back reconciliation forgiveness asking for another chance um, somebody and I know that just changed the story completely I feel like there's been some sort of abandonment there's been some sort of ghosting somebody was had may have had some sort of responsibilities they were overwhelmed they were trying to prove something they may have uh been trying to work on their money work on their their finances you know they may have had some financial problems which was delaying um was was which was delaying something i do feel like uh, somebody is thinking about coming back they have been disappointed they do have some sort of feelings. Uh, somebody may be asking for an apology or, or, or giving an apology or asking for forgiveness because this is forgiveness. This is an apology. This, so I'm not sure who this is. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Okay. This is the end of a burden. Okay. Because this is the end of a burden. Somebody has been carrying a heavy burden. This person is overwhelmed and, and I feel like they... They've been lying because this is lying. They've been lying maybe to themselves. Um, it may be, somebody may be, um, I don't know, it feels like begging for forgiveness. It may be for the justice system. You know, you some when you get into court, 
you know, when you've done something against the law, what do you do? You you typically beg for forgiveness. Are you not? If you don't, well, then you go to jail for a long time. You know what I mean? You know what I, I'm not. You know, maybe you go to jail for a long time anyway because there's consequences for your actions. So anyhow, um, because I, this is like prison to me, so I'm not sure what is going on here, but. I feel as though there is going to be some consequences. I feel like there's an awakening. Somebody may be going through a spiritual awakening. Um, they may be asking for forgiveness. Uh, maybe from a higher court, you know. Uh, could be even from God, you know. There is there is forgiveness that will be needed here. Or forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may be asking for help. They may be apologizing, uh, you know. Uh, Maybe it's time to let go of the burdens. It's time to let go of the baggage. It's time to uh, let go of the needing to have all those things and simplify your life. Maybe this is what this is about. It's about simplifying your life. It's about doing the right thing, you know, to bring you peace and harmony. Um, I feel like this full moon is about... Well, this is realizing what your heart wants. This is a revelation. This is heart expressing feelings, you know, wanting love, looking for love. There could be a proposal or an offer or a gift or a new opportunity for love. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings. They're going to be doing what's right. They're going to be doing the right thing because. It's almost like they know. They know that they need to. It's like they need to be honest with themselves. It's all about honesty. Um, now the Eight of Cups reverse. That is pretending to be happy. Somebody has been pretending to be happy. Which I could see. They've been superficial. And they've been shallow. And they've been staying put. Avoiding. Avoiding the truth. Avoiding the truth about, you know. I don't know, a relationship, but I feel like it's over. I think the, the avoiding the truth is over, okay? Somebody has been weighed down by fear. You know, they've been weighed down by uh, social pressure, you know, to go in a certain direction or to focus on everything but, you know, love. But I feel like there is there's like some sort of awakening. Okay, this is an awakening. It's a wake up call. Um, this is a release. It's the end of things. It's the end of of uh, pretending. It's the end of pretending. No more pretending. It's time to be honest. It's time to be truthful. So this somebody is about to to speak the truth. Okay, the truth is about to come out. This five of pentacles, though, this is poor health. This is financial burdens. It's it's uh, consequences as well. So we have a lot of consequences here. We have somebody here that is facing some karmic consequences for uh, their actions, for being selfish, for trying to prove something that ten of wands seriously is trying to prove something this person it can't do it anymore it's like they they can't they can't they've been lying the eight of swords reversed they've been lying they've been lying about what they want but now it feels like they're they're ready to follow their heart that knight of cups looking for love somebody's looking for love Someone's going to be expressing their feelings. They've probably been thinking about it for quite some time. So yeah, I feel like this, this full moon is about a new beginning. I feel like it's about a new beginning here. I think that there's been an ending. I think whoever this person is has experienced a release, has experienced an ending or a transformation or a transition. They were holding on to something that I believe they are letting go of or they're being let go or something like they were they, they are. I feel like and now they may be offering some sort of offering a little bit, you know, a little bit at a time. They may be giving an inch, you know, they'd be Maybe like, you know, I don't want to hold this. I don't want to hold this anymore. I mean, because that is what this is. I don't want to hold this. I don't want to carry this burden, you know. So I feel like somebody is uh, 
done fighting. They, they're done fighting. Uh, they may be being urged to do it as well. Somebody may be, their friends, their family, whatever, may be saying, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know, and they're going to they're gonna do it. They're going to do it. So whatever they're being urged to do, they are going to do. And they're going to feel very victorious because it's a win. Okay, they're going to win. Whatever it is that they choose to do, it is a win. It's a win-win situation. So I do feel like this full moon is about getting what you deserve. Okay, because this is what you deserve. It's about everything turning out as it should. This is truth being revealed in regards to how somebody feels. Their feelings, somebody is going to reveal their true feelings. This may be somebody that you have separated from. There's already been a separation. And this doesn't have to be a lover. Okay. This could be a family member. It could be anybody. It could be a lover. It could be anybody. So there's 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 a there's an opportunity for a reconciliation and uh well it's an opportunity for a reconciliation with somebody that turned their back on another person. Now there's a chance to come face to face and uh, balance out the relationship again. So I feel like I feel like this full moon there is going to be some sort of uh, communication with somebody that ghosted okay there's been they they, they outcast there's going to be a chance for reconciliation for forgiveness let's go ahead and read that traveling lightly card just for the heck of it simplify your life release what doesn't support you a busy life in the Accumulation of more than you need creates static, which I already told you. In other words, clear internal and external clutter. Do what matters and release the rest to find peace, grace, and stillness. Simplify your life. Otherwise, it's difficult to hear the voice of their creator. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. On the journey, we often gather things, things that don't support us. It's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and objects that don't bring out the best in you. Keep what works and let go of the rest. Doing what is essential and releasing everything else is one of the fastest ways to align with the tranquil vibration of the spiritual realm. Clear things from your schedule that do not advance your life forward. Even a small amount of this cleansing can make an, an, an immense difference. So, so this is about simplifying. It is about starting over. It's about, you know, uh, letting go. Letting go of what doesn't serve you. Don't worry about the things which we talked about at the beginning of this reading. It's not about the things. It's about your peace. It's about what you're getting, you know, at ease with who you are, being happy. Somebody has been wearing an appearance, right? Or oh, that's what we all do, right? Putting on a show, per se. They've been putting on a show that's not who they really are. This is where the show ends. So anyway, it is going to be a very karmic time with the Justice and the Judgment card. Those are both cards of karma. That's being held accountable. Be responsibility being assigned. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to be judged for your actions? Are you ready? Because that's what this is about. Somebody is going to be making a life-changing decision. This life-changing decision has to do with uh, following the heart. It does. With that Knight of Cups right underneath it. Has to do with what your heart wants. It's going to be a very emotional time. 
Somebody may, may have been thinking about walking away for a long time and they've been staying put in a situation pretending to be happy. This will probably be the time where they find the ability to walk away and turn their back on something that has been holding them down. Something that has ended already. There could be some upcoming legal news as well. Somebody could get some legal papers. Um, that could be part of the karma that is coming. Um, you reap what you sow. So anyway, it's time to leave it behind and go. Go where your heart wants. Those things mean nothing. Good luck.